I'm shoot the cooperators. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another. Damn it, Chris! Welcome back to another episode of the Cooperators. Indeed, and Chris is being a dick by shooting at us. Yeah, he is. Hey, now you missed me, bitch. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You yeah. missed, bitch. Damn. <laughs> anyway, you get dicky. Oh wait, I can put away the disc. I was gonna say you don't. In the metal. You, uh, you don't need the disc until you go down stairs to the lab, right? Yeah. I need the crank and the battery. Wait, so what do you need... When you put in uh, mole as the, as the password... It's supposed to be um, something... You're supposed to hear Tofu's voice thing from the Japanese thing for Resident Evil 2. It's a little Easter egg. I never understood that. Tofu. Like, why you get to play as Tofu. I never understood that. Why is that a thing? Uh, because it's a play on the fact that zombies are eating Tofu. When you run around and try to be a survivor, you play as Tofu. <laughs> I never understood that. It's just like random, like, okay. And uh, also they had Hunk, right? Yeah. Hunk was, you know, badass, apparently. Yeah. No, because what it Resident was... Evil 2 also had a battle mode. I did not know about this. Only certain versions of it have it. Yeah, I, uh... Where you get to play as Leon, Chris, and I believe Ada, or Claire, one of them. You do get to play as Chris. And you have to defuse bombs or something. I don't remember what versions actually had them, and if I'm not mistaken, I think the N64 had it, I think? I don't know. All I know is it's really fucking hard. You have to be really good at the game. Know how to dodge, know what to shoot, have it all planned ahead of time and shit. Yes, that's crazy. And then they, uh, then they started like, fuck that, we're not gonna do battle mode, we're gonna do mercenaries mode, and they, which mercenaries was mode. Which a little which, easier, but still Which hard. they did put in Resident Evil 3. It's easier than battle mode, but it's still dif difficult. Then they dumbed it down a little bit in Resident Evil 4. No, yeah, no. they didn't They didn't do anything in Resident Evil uh, Code Veronica. Which, ironic enough, that was actually the fourth one. Eh. That's funny. What? Code Veronica. I actually like Code Veronica. It was a good game. And the fact that it was released on the iP Dream... How many iPods do you have, dude? I have three. I'm still like, well, two of them are broken. Aww. And one is, uh, doesn't work. My iPods are broken. No, way. Well, I'm trying to think of something. It's like, oh no, my Xbox One is dead after six months of use. My Super Nintendo is still good after 20-something years. No, it's, it's, it's the cell phones that we have nowadays. It's like, I just got the new uh, Galaxy S7, and, and, it's dead on, and it's dead on me just by just doing this. But my, but my uh, 1999 Nikita, I, I, I accidentally dropped it and threw it on a building, and the building collapsed. My phone was fine, though. It's like, how was the signal? Eh, so and so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, the signals back then was just terrible, but it was like, yeah. What are you we need do? to build more cell phone towers. You know what's fucked up? The military had way better radios back then. Yeah, no, no, now the military's got, they're like, oh no, we wasted all of our military resources just so uh, civilians could actually have a better cell reception. You but legitly, if you had a military radio back in like the 60s or whenever, whenever it was, I don't know when, you could be in the middle of the desert. And have a fucking signal. You gr granted, you have to carry it because it wasn't a little thing, but you had a signal. Well, I had a um. Where do I need to go? I had those big giant uh, radio phones, but they also had the ones with the, that were um, attached to the back. Mm-hmm. The backpack radios. All those are ridiculous. I need to go. But Danny got good reception for that. Yeah, you. <laughs> So apparently, I, I've been told that a lot of the tech that we have now, like, mili the military have been, have been using it for years. Like, not the best version. Like, our stuff is made for more consumer stuff. Their stuff is military. Yeah. That's what I was told. By whom? I don't know. It's just like something that gets spread around. Which well, it's probably it probably is true. Military has some really good. You know the fucking weapons they have now. It's crazy. I mean, some of the stuff I actually do hear spreading around. Um, but one dude, thing they actually have self-correcting bullets now. One thing that they do have that I do know is uh, for like first aid. <gasps> you're not poisoned. Oh, thank God. 
one thing I do know that they do shit. that they do have for like you know, like uh, first aid is like if they get shot or something like that or there's like a wound that they have it's pretty big. They have a uh, like a big giant syringe filled with gauze and they just uh, stick it in and inject it and it just uh, expands, expands and it uh, clog, uh, clogs up the holes so they don't bleed to death. I thought that was what the tampon was for. It actually works like a tampon, but it's more absorbent. I thought they have a new thing that, like, instantly cauterizes any wound now. No, well, I mean, they, what they do with that, they just basically just burn the wound. So yeah, it cauterizes but, it, like, but... something really quickly. Like, a laser or something. No, they don't have lasers. Well, they probably do. I wouldn't be... Like, there's a lot of stuff that they have that's military-grade, but prototype and will not be released to the public, nor will it actually be released to actual military personnel. I don't get why it's not released to but doctors. But it's only released... It's only released... For prototype testing for certain like I military, I, well, I don't get why they like, don't give example, it to doctors. Though. Like for example, they probably made a holographic sonar map to see enemies from a distance without, or you to, know, or to find a Loch Ness monster. Yeah, or um, that that too. But what 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 they, what do they do with it? They actually do don't they don't use it because they don't want them to rely on it. So they only just bring it out to the field. To, to test it out and see how it is, but they never use it. I thought there was a point to where, like, you don't want to get too advanced with war because then it's like, what is war at that point? Technological warfare, basically. But we don't, but for the real reason is that we don't want our soldiers to be relying on tools and, and stuff like that. They want them to rely on themselves and their wits. An extension of themselves. Because here's another thing you have one army that's in. Uh, Zimbabwe or uh, or Madagascar and something, and that army. Let's, let, let's just just meta metaphorically sp like metaphorically speaking, or probably is true, probably isn't true, whatever. That army is n probably not as good as our army because our army trains like there's no tomorrow. While that army trains like once a day, they train five, six, twenty eight times a day. We do. I feel bad for like our armies in the sense like our guys they train that hard and I'm like but that's like their life and it changes their personality but at the same time god forbid something happens we're happy about that then we have them like you know what do you know what I mean like they're always there to back us up yeah but I feel bad like the the personality change they go through you know it's it is it's 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 stressful on them and that's why we always like you know always honor our veterans and everything we always are like Support our troopers, and yeah, like I'm down with that. Like, yeah, we definitely. Always, I'm always like, you know, trying to support the troopers and everything. Like, but this, it's only so much that we can actually do. But whenever I see um, a um, a, a soldier of any kind going down the street, I always stop and salute. But that's me. Sometimes, oh, there's the boulder. Sometimes they do find it disrespectful. The only reason why is because you have to. It's like a civilian s saluting a soldier. They find it disrespectful. I don't know why, but it's like it has to be a, not a not a, 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 a civilian. It has to be a citizen uh, uh, saluting to them. And there's apparently there's a difference between a, a, a civilian to a citizen. I don't know the actual premise of it. I I just do it as a way to say thank you. Yeah. I, without I, saying anything. I, I I I get what you're what you're trying to do. And honestly, I can I can respect that. I know this episode got way too like way too personal. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. But yeah, no, if we have any, like, uh, subscribers out there that are definitely, like, um, you know, for, for our country or anything like that, uh, God bless you. Thank you very much. We do appreciate it. Oh, look who it is. It's, um, I don't know, who, who's that? Enrico. We don't really know who he is at all until this point in the game. Double crosser. Enrico, wait. Ow, my titty. Um, Wasn't Enrico, Enrico the captain Enrico. to the... Uh, like we don't know shit about unless there's files or something. But we no, don't wasn't know he about the captain him. of Bravo. I don't know. Or who was? Well, the we're Bravo. No, we're Alpha. No. Wait. Let you think about that for a second. I need to touch you. Killed him with just one shot. Who could it be? You know he did have another shot in his gut, so obviously he was killed with two shots. Think about that for a second, because I know you're going to be... Wait, he's still holding something. A pistol. I'm going I'm to crank it up his butt. I mean, let me just make sure. Shaped like a hexagon. Yep, it'll fit. <laughs> so anyway... Joe, Chris is on the alpha team. You know what I have to say about that? 
because you just realized it, didn't you? Remember the beginning? Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone situated in northwest Raccoon City. We're in the oh. search of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Oh, that's why Rebecca and Richard were there. Rebecca and Richard are on, this, are, are on Bravo Team, al along with uh, uh, Kenneth, uh, uh, Spence, S Spencer Forrest, and Rico, and I'm pretty sure Rico was, was the captain. I'm trying to remember who else was on Bravo Team, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Where, what about the videotape? I still have it. Yeah, what are you gonna do with it? I watch it later. When and where? Ill. The did I just get a double kill? I did not. The videotape that you got in the beginning of the game. Where, where, where I watch it in the lab. I was I was gonna say. Oh, so it's like this is how we end off the game is with the with something that we got from the beginning of it. When are you gonna encounter that boulder? Not for a tiny bit. Like maybe ten more minutes. I was about to say, like, in ten more minutes, and I'll be like, well, we're already How about the next time on the cooperate? I was going to say, because we're already, like, ten minutes into this episode. I mean, granted, our episodes lately have been, been like, uh, like, I don't know, like, 15, 20, close to 20 minutes long. I mean, we could probably, we could, I'm, I'm sure we could probably do it next time on the cooperators due to the fact that we're, like, you know, ten minutes in, and we usually try to make, we try to make our episodes ten to fifteen minutes. Sometimes it gets a little bit longer, which, eh, what are you going to do? Shit happens. It's not saying you guys don't like us, though, right? 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 <laughs> they hate us! God damn it. I mean, at this point that uh, that we're rec uh, recording this, we have 51 subscribers. Oh, hey, a flamethrower. I don't need it. <laughs> oh, flamethrower. Fuck you, I got it. I got this thing. Oh, wait. Oh, All right, like, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Fuck you, I got this thing. I, right. got the, I got the play system. I, I have to be careful now. Because cause I, I have to run back. The boulder's going to come for me. Yeah, ah, move! Okay, Scream. good, good. That would have killed me. Don't worry, Bolter. I'll have it next time. In I Resident can't Evil, see! In Resident Evil 5. Next time on the Cooperators? Yeah, next time on the Cooperators. Do I need this? The flamethrower? No, I don't need it. Okay. I do need a knife, though. Wait, why? Boss room. Wait, what? Boss room. Because there's going to be web. On the wall, and I have to cut. Oh wait, no, there's a knife in the room. I don't. I don't need to go get mine. I was about to say you can't shoot the web. I don't think you can. I haven't tried shooting the web. With with rockets. I have not tried shooting the web with rockets. No. Damn, that web is strong. That's Spider-Man's web. Oh damn. Damn. What the like fuck was dude, your he problem? Was, he, he wanted to. He wanted some dick. It was pretty on there. I'm glad he didn't bite it. Bite your dick off. Just... What? Why? Why the handgun ammo? Why not? I feel so scared. Naked. 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 Oh, I hate how you're in this tight area and it's dark and there's like a butt ton of hunters everywhere. I think I just like to describe it a butt ton of hunters. That's more like 10 shitloads. Oh god, the frame rate. It's 50 cans of short shit right there. And hey, fuck you. That's like Aragon from, uh, I was gonna say why, I don't know why you're not pointing at him. That's like, that's definitely Aragon from, uh, Harry Potter. Oh yeah, that giant spider. Yes. Arania Exave! And... Oh wait, I'm gonna try and shoot it. Oh, oh it does can't... work. Wait, no it doesn't. Oh yeah, it does work. Ah uh, yeah, fuck you, Spider-Man. I didn't need to pick up the knife, but I already did. Well, I can't knife, put it down. It's a nice knife. It's, it's, a, it's a nice I knife. I can't put it down. I can do a wield. I wish. <laughs> I was gonna say, just go like, <laughs> Green Beret style. <laughs> Do I have a right. knife with me? Yeah, I'll just fucking make it. Is that, this, is that literally the same exact knife that you actually have, or is it a little bit? I don't know. I'll have to check, actually. Because I mean, I don't know. That knife looks a little bit darker. I could I be will, entirely I will wrong. Have to check. I will have to check. Uh, unless I'm just really tired, I'm just like, I'm just, I'm just seeing some crazy shit, man. So next time on the cooperators, we're gonna find out what beh what's behind door number one. Yeah. So see you next time. Ha 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 